up guys, this is Foden here. Um, this is a tutorial on how to sort of adjust animations from Endorphin. Basically like editing them in Cinema 4D. So for an example, I've imported a walk animation from Endorphin into this cinematic scene which I'm making. Um, as you can see, the left, the his right arm, the left arm, um, is held up onto, well, held up by his face because he's on the phone. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to animate, like, not animate, how to adjust it so you can do various animations like that. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to open up that walk sort of um, animation. Uh, I just got to find it. So that name walk BBH. I'm actually gonna um, skip a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna delete the floor, like the background cinematics, and I've just got him doing his walk, just so I don't have to ring him and that. So yeah, I've got a Ghost here, and say I want to do him like I'll just do the on the phone thing just to show you. Um, so he does his casual walk. Um, what you want to do is, he will, I want his right arm to be raised to his head. So if I go to his right clavicle joint, click select children, which selects everything else below this. As you can see, it's got all these keyframes. So what you might want to do actually, just want to select all of them by literally just clicking down and dragging. And once you've sort of select every key, selected every keyframe, you might even want to just adjust that to about a, a thousand, because I'm pretty sure they extend. Here we go. Here we go. So then you want to select all the keyframes, go to the clavicle, select children, sort of drag this to the right slightly, just so you definitely selected them and click delete. If you don't drag it to the right, you sometimes delete the clavicle joint. And as you can see from there. His arm um, has stopped animating and it just stays still. Um, so from then on, um, we can just go back to. Uh, well, I suppose we can just do it at not the frame not. That won't really matter. So yeah, let's just sort of adjust his hand. Please excuse the weight effectors. Um, I'm not going to run through all that now. Um, that will be wasting time. Um, so yeah, this is. Just trying to think how you hold your phone up because sometimes you have your arm out in front of you with the elbow back or you can have it more towards the side depending on how you hold a phone but so yeah once I've done that I just want to get him into position and um, he will have his um, phone in his hand obviously so if I just shove that there, maybe bring the shoulder in a bit more, and then bring the elbow back in a bit more, and his phone will slot into there. Um, and then there you go. You you deleted all the keyframes, so you might just want to just hit a keyframe on the first one, just in case you want to decide to animate later on. Um, so he'll walk there with his phone. Um, as you can see, his head does move. So once again, just click his shoulder. And just like uh, yeah, as you see, I set a keyframe down already. Just want to keep it his hand next to his head. So yeah, bring that a bit closer. Keyframe, head codes back. Bring that out a bit more. He starts to move his head here. Move it forward bring his head a hand closer and there uh, you just keep his hand near his head and if you do it if you spend a little bit more time on it you'll get better results he'll if you can like have his hand as staying as close to his head in the same sort of position as you can then that'll look good um, you can do that with any sort of part of his body you can do the other arm doing whatever you want really but that is how you sort of animate or edit various animations from endorphin um, in Cinema 4D so then he's just walking there on his phone like and then, and then 
obviously his arm is staying still but once you sort of animated it all the way through it his arm will move so it'll be a bit more realistic and then what you can do is you can adjust his facial expressions so make him talk um, I'll be doing all this in my dual edit which I'll be doing sometime this summer with um, a mate of mine um, and Nasni his name is I'll put his link in the description he's, he's a pretty good editor as well I like his shit um, love you, love you, um, Stefan. Comment on the video saying um, you love me because you do. Um, and we'll get round to doing that jewel soon. Eh? So like and comment the video, guys. Um, uh, I don't know when the next edit will be out, depending on you know. I'm actually, I'm gonna do that video a video either tomorrow or the next day. Um, just a, like a little update saying who wants their episode um, edited and if anyone puts um, a comment down I'll put all the names into a list and I'll pick one out and then I'll do that person's episode um, because I've had a load of offers so I don't know which one to pick um, so if I just go random nobody can sort of you know sort of a bit lucky there but yeah that's what will be happening um, the next video will be a weapon pack, model for three, but weapon pack. But they will be in a bit more textures, a bit more detail, um, because they've been ripped straight from a game. So, look forward to that. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Please share all the videos around. Um, I've noticed because I went away. I just went away this weekend. Um, well, it's it's Monday today. Um, no, it's Tuesday today. Fuck no. Is it? Oh, but yeah, my my subscribers are going up quite a lot and um, if you can keep getting people to sub and stay active that'd be great um, so I'll see you in the next video peace